everybody to our latest edition of CTE Live. We are here today with Oceana Cruises and uh, their very own Jade Gourlay. I hope I said that Hi, right. Hi everybody, <laughs> you did. <laughs> Wonderful. And we have uh, Tom Mugno also on the call with us and Tom is uh, gonna be the host uh, going with this group. Uh, and Tom, you already have some people signed up. How many people you have signed up already? Um, we have 14 people signed up so far, yes. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So um, I want to welcome everybody to the program. Uh, the The topic today, we're going to talk about Oceana Cruises and um, in general uh, about this ship class that this um, particular sailing that we're talking about and this particular sailing is in March 2022. And um, then as soon as Jade tells us about Oceana and some of the things that you maybe can expect on board, then uh, Tom will tell us exactly uh, the details of this specific sailing. And I will share my screen at that time so you can see the itinerary and some of the, some of the more specific things. So uh, I see a lot of familiar names on the call, but um, a, lot, a, a little bit of housekeeping. If you have a question, just type it in the chat box um, or the Q&A, and I will try to kind of collect the questions and then I'll ask them to Jade or Tom as appropriate at the end or towards the end. And of course, uh, we are recording this. And so if you're watching this on uh, our YouTube channel, then first of all, please subscribe to our channel for updates. And um, you can put your question in the comments or you can email your comments. Uh, my email is michaelmgatravel.com and Tom's email is tom at mgatravel.com. And if it's a question we can't answer, we'll reach out to Jade and she'll be able to answer it. So with that being said, um, Jade, I want to welcome you and thank you for being here and tell us all about Oceana. Thank you for having me. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, as Michael said, my name is Jade Gurley and I am a business development manager at Oceana. So I have the opportunity to work with wonderful travel partners like Michael and Tom. So today I'm going to, as he said, give you a nice overview of the Oceana Cruises experience and what you can expect on board on um, any of our ships. And then of course, specifically uh, the ship that this group that Tom is working on is on the Serena. So I will talk a little bit more specifically about the experience that you can have and expect on board uh, that ship. So Oceana is an upper premium cruise line. Um, and these are what you're seeing here are the three differentiators of our brand. We are small ship luxury. Um, and that is a big uh, thing that a lot of guests and, and maybe you are now looking for is more of a small ship experience. Um, and I'll tell you what that looks like on board. I know one of the big questions when uh, people hear small ship is they're worried about losing space on board the ship. I mean, you absolutely do not lose any space. We have beautiful public spaces, um, amazing suites and staterooms on board. Um, so you still get to enjoy all of the luxuries that you maybe have had experience on a larger ship. Um, you're just simply traveling with less guests. What we are most known for, of course, is having the finest cuisine at sea and delivering an exquisite culinary experience. We pride ourselves on this. Um, it is getting close to lunchtime where I'm at, so that topic will be uh, definitely a big focus for me today. Very excited to talk about that. And then, of course, the curated travel experiences. What motivates you as the guest to travel, where you're looking to travel, um, and that is why you pick your vacations as you want to immerse yourself in different cultures, different destinations, and um, how Oceana does that uh, through our itinerary planning, both for the cruise and also the offerings that we have on land to allow you to get to experience all that a destination has to offer. So when I say small ship luxury, I do love to show this image, just give you an idea of what we truly mean when we say small ship. Um, if you've ever pulled into a port that one of our ships is in, you can definitely see uh, the size difference uh, when we're, we are docked next to other large ships. Uh, but we do have two classes of ships. We have our O class, which is a little bit uh, bigger, carries 1,250 guests, absolutely beautiful Marina and Riviera. Um, and they are, again, just a little bit bigger than the ship that Tom is hosting a group on. Um, and those have some of the favorites that our guests love. Our culinary center is on board 
at these. It was actually the first hands-on cooking school at C. So if um, maybe you can't go in March, definitely look at some itineraries for the O-class ships if you want to have that hands-on cooking school experience. But what I really want to focus on is the regatta class or the R-class ships. This is, um, we have four of them. Serena is the one that we are hosting Tom's group on in March. And as you can see from the pictures that are showing on the screen, it's absolutely beautiful, very residential in feel. We want to make sure that you feel like you're coming home. And I'll show you a little bit more about that. Um, these ships were actually re-inspired. So they are practically brand new. Um, Serena was done um, previously. And then obviously we've had a year off. so. Um, everything that was done on board is just as fresh and new and beautiful um, that you can see there. And the same applies to the accommodations on the R class. They are absolutely amazing. And regardless of what category you pick, you get to enjoy a lot of the same amenities. So you get the Bulgari um, in the bathrooms and you get the amazing linens and the tranquility beds, which is the best night's sleep you will have on board a ship. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. But just wanted to show you a little glimpse of what the accommodations look like on board uh, while you are sailing with us. As I mentioned, it is very residential in design. Um, it may sound cliche, but we do want to make you feel like you are at home, very comfortable um, in all of the public spaces. And of course, in your state stateroom or suite, uh, we've partnered with Ralph Lauren Home for our um, owner suite. Um, and you can see that also that same look and feel is extended throughout the ship. We want to make sure that you um, are, in, are comfortable enjoying that country club casual ambiance, but still at a level of luxury uh, that you are looking for. We also have an absolutely amazing art collection on board all of our ships. Um, you can see just some of them that are um, pictured here and it's handpicked actually by our founders. So all of the art that you see on board is hand selected. It wasn't just uh, randomly put on. Our president and our founder have gone through each of them and want to uh, obviously share that with the guests while they sail with us. So uh, not only is it an absolutely amazing experience um, in your suite or stateroom, but while you are just enjoying the public spaces on the ship, it's ab absolutely beautiful. One thing, of course, I want to call out is our Aquamar Spa and Vitality Center. Uh, so we actually, within a little bit over the last year or so, uh, enhanced our spa experience and really took more of a holistic approach to wellness. Not only looking at it through the spa services that we offer, but also through the cuisine. We have the largest plant-based menu at sea. Um, the fitness classes that we offer are all included. Um, and also extending that out into the shore side experience with our excursions. How do we tie in wellness? Um, into the travel experience. So we've worked really hard to enhance this aspect um, and also continue to deliver a spa experience that guests know and love and want to get to experience. Uh, that is a question oftentimes that does come up when we say small ships is, do you guys have a spa? And yes, we do have an amazing spa, amazing pools on board uh, that you can absolutely still get to enjoy uh, even with a small ship experience. For those of you that are familiar with Oceana, you know that we pride ourselves on the service level that we deliver. Uh, our guests have a level that they expect to receive in service um, and we continue to deliver that. We've asked our guests time and time again, why did you first pick Oceana? And it's those three pillars, of course, the culinary experience, uh, the itineraries and the beautiful ships. But we've asked, why do you continue to return to us? And it is the crew and the service level and the experience they have while they are sailing with us. They pride themselves on uh, not only delivering amazing service, but also becoming, again, don't want to sound too cliche, but like a family on board. Um, I was actually at an event, obviously, a couple years ago now, and I was talking to a guest that was in attendance at this, and he actually recognized a crew member in the video. And he He's like, it brought tears to my eyes because I, you know, I thought of all the memories we have with him and I can't wait to get back on board um, and know that he's still with um, Oceana. I'm so excited to be able to rekindle that. And so that's also a benefit of being on a small ship is amazing service levels. And you start to, to build those relationships uh, with the crew that is there. When I sailed back in December of 2019, uh, we have baristas, which is actually pictured behind me um, on our O-class ship. 
and I am a big coffee drinker. And so after the first or second day, they knew my order walking right up. And so that's the beauty of Sailing Small Ship is they know who you are um, and they start to, to you know pick up on, on your habits and what kind of coffee you like in the morning and, or even your afternoon coffee. Um, so it really not only speaks to the small ship experience, but also the service level that you can expect on board Oceana. Now my favorite topic, also the hardest to talk about right now as I'm hungry, but is the finest cuisine at sea. We are definitely the foodie cruise line and we pride ourselves on delivering that time and time again. One thing that I do of course want to mention, for those of you that have sailed with us, you know the culinary experience and you know how amazing it is. And in this time that we have not been sailing, our team has not only across the ship in different ways continue to enhance that experience, but uh, specifically on the culinary side, they've taken this time to add new menu items or tweak existing menu items that they think could be even better. Uh, so on the culinary experience, when you sail with us, you'll be ready to experience uh, the things you know and love or a, a lot of new things as well on the culinary side. So I want to give you a highlight of why we can deliver the finest cuisine at sea. And it does start, of course, with the team that we have on board. Master Chef Jacques Papin is our executive culinary director, and he has helped us put together an amazing team of world-renowned chefs. We actually have, I believe, three master chefs um, as part of our culinary team, which is the highest level of chefs that you can reach. So it's pretty amazing to know that we have uh, them on board and helping us continue to deliver that culinary experience. Uh, time and time again to our guests. And a big part of that is the ingredients. So we do use the freshest ingredients possible. So Jacques has instilled this mentality uh, in the culinary aspect that you can be the best chef in the world, but if you have a lousy tomato, there's nothing you can do with it. So we've taken that and we source all of our fruits and vegetables uh, locally, our seafood, that's a big part of that as well. So we source all of our uh, seafood responsibly and locally and if not then it's actually air freighted in overnight to that port it is never frozen so we really do pride ourselves on this we have over um, I think 30 different types of breads that you can enjoy on board I think when I sailed I maybe tried all of them and they are all absolutely amazing the desserts are amazing I mean these pictures don't even do it justice of what you'll get to experience so we really are uh, kind of fanatical about our culinary experience and the ingredients that we use because it is so important to what we do um, and making sure that our guests get to enjoy this um, we actually and I wish I had the statistic, but I believe it's something like 120,000 pounds of flour is used um, in a month across the fleet, which <laughs> that is so much, um, but tells you we, we bake everything fresh daily. Um, that is one of the things that we pride ourselves on, if you are familiar with Oceana, is that each of our restaurants, everything is made to order. Um, everything is baked fresh daily, and as you walk into a restaurant, you'll get to experience that food fresh. Um, and so all of our specialty restaurants are included. Our grand dining room is open seating. Um, and that is something not a lot of cruise lines offer, but we want to be sure that you can dine at your leisure. Um, and also within within um, the time frame, if you want to experience more time in port and be out and have a dining experience there, you absolutely can. You don't have to rush back for a dining time at five. Um, when you're used to dining at 6.30, you can absolutely show up and enjoy that. As I mentioned, all of our specialty restaurants are included. Terrace Cafe, which is our multiple food stations, is is just as good as the, as the specialty restaurants. We do chef market dinners there. And everything is absolutely amazing. One thing I do want to call out as well is that it's always been full service. So you've never served yourself there. Uh, so when we do return to service, that's one less protocol or change that guests will experience. Uh, because that's how it's always operated on board. Um, we, again, go back to the service level. We want to make it as easy um, and as healthy and safe for all of you. I mean, it really is amazing. So I do want to show you just a quick glimpse of the specialty restaurants that are on board Serena. So Red Ginger is probably one of our most popular specialty restaurants. Um, it is on, Serena is actually the only R-Class ship that has Red Ginger on it. Um, it is an Asian restaurant and as you can see, just a beautiful space, absolutely beautiful. Um, and the experience from start to finish is is so special. You sit down, 
and you get to pick your tea for the evening. You get to pick which chopsticks you want to use. Um, and then you have so many different courses that you can enjoy. Of course, the duck watermelon salad is often talked about or the miso Chilean sea bass is also a big favorite. Um, when I was on board, I had lobster pad thai. It was delicious. Um, so you really can't go wrong. One thing again about these restaurants is they each have their own kitchen, which is incredibly unique for a cruise line. Um, most of them have, most ships have one kitchen, but our ship, every restaurant has its own kitchen. So again, that food is fresh and made to order. Nothing is prepared. Uh, of course, bread's excluded um, before you order it. Um, and it is as fresh as possible using the freshest ingredients. We also have uh, Tuscan steak, which is unique just to Serena. It is a combination of our other um, specialty restaurants, our Italian restaurant and our steakhouse, and we actually combined it. So you could have, uh, you'd go there two different nights and get completely two different dining experiences. Uh, but absolutely delicious, again, uh, the freshest ingredients and as well as, you know, the, the kitchen. So everything is made to order how you want. Now the destinations. This is our third and final pillar of what distinguishes us the culinary experience and of course the beautiful ships you're in. I know you're in, but it's about the destinations. Where do we go? And we go just about everywhere um, in the world. And we have seven days all the way up to our around the world cruises with 180 days. Uh, we actually just launched our around the world uh, for 2023 back um, a few months ago and it, it sold out in one day. So if you are interested in sailing around the world as well, definitely take a look at our around the world cruises. They're incredibly popular and absolutely amazing itineraries. But what makes Oceana different when it comes to the itineraries that we put together is not only are we going to marquee ports of call that you want to experience, guests want to experience, uh, but we also pair them with boutique ports of call. Because we are a small ship, we can go to ports that other ships simply just can't get to. Uh, on the itinerary that I'm about to show you that Mar uh, Tom has a group on um, is, is a few of those that really you can't uh, get to on a big ship because they just don't have the infrastructure. So you have to be a small ship. So when you get to those ports, not only are there less cruise passengers there, um, it can be oftentimes uh, just our ship, um, you're also getting more time in port. We want to make sure that you get to have that experience and get to immerse yourself in the destination. Uh, so that is something, those two things really, when we are putting our itineraries together, we work hard to make sure that you have plenty of time to experience it and you get a mix of, of those marquee ports as well as those unique smaller ports of call that you maybe didn't think of. So this is the itinerary that Tom will, of course, talk a little bit more in depth on and the group, uh, but I did want to show it. It is um, out of Miami. It is March 5th of 2022 on Serena. Uh, beautiful itinerary, as you can see there. But again, want to call out that it is long stays in those ports. So for example, um, you get to St. Barth at 8 a.m. and we don't, the ship doesn't leave until 6 p.m. So you have all day. Uh, there's also an 11 p.m. departure time on here, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 7 p.m. So plenty of time to get to enjoy that destination and really immerse yourself. Um, as you can see on here, St. Barth is a port of call. Uh, that's a small port. Big ships simply can't get there um, and they don't have the, the um, because we don't have the infrastructure. So when you get there, it will be your fellow passengers on this 684 guest vessel that is enjoying this destination. So you really have time to immerse. You're not worrying about crowds trying to shuffle through um, people that you may in a larger port of call. Um, but it really is a great itinerary that Tom has picked here. Um, and I want to, of course, as I mentioned, a big part of the experience that we deliver uh, for travel is the shore excursions. We have over 3,000 shore excursion options total. Uh, which is amazing. And we have something for everyone. We have go local tours. As I mentioned earlier, wellness is a big aspect of our brand. So we also have wellness tours, food and wine. We wouldn't be um, the foodie cruise line if we didn't have food and wine excursions, culinary discovery. So we have all these different options based off of what you are looking for and the experience and the way you want to see the destination. I did want to, of course, highlight a couple that are available to you actually on this itinerary. Uh, so the first one is called Nicole's Table, and this is in Antigua. And you'll actually depart the ship, and you'll meet with a uh, 
famous chef in Antigua and she will actually take you to um, a restaurant and you'll have the fresh local ingredients and you will help prepare a three course meal. Um, of course, you get to enjoy some rum and some food and wine while you're there, uh, but really a different kind of hands-on immersive experience to see the culinary aspect of that destination. We also have a go local excursion on this itinerary a little bit, a few parts later in, I'm not going to attempt to butcher the port name, but in Bonaire, you can go um, and have a traditional fishing experience with locals. And so you you uh, take off with on a boat with some local fishermen, talk about their favorite spots, the different types of fish. And then you get to see all the, diff the different uh, types of fish um, and hear just about the culture around uh, fishing in that port of call. So really just a different kind of experience based off of how you want to see that destination. Of course, um, we have you know, small group excursions. We have um, most of our excursions are small groups because we want you to be able to enjoy um, and connect with your guide and have that that way to experience the destination. Um, again, so many different choices. We have hiking tours, we have go local where it really is kind of more bespoke um, and a little bit more rough and rugged. Um, and then of course we have the food and wine. So something really for everybody to get to experience. And that is all amazing, but the value. So what is included when you sail with Oceana? You are not going to be nickel and dimes. We are upper premium, so we are mostly inclusive. We are not all inclusive. So in terms of the value, this is what is included. As you can see, we include internet, all of our specialty restaurants, as I mentioned earlier, room service, fitness classes, all non-alcoholic beverages. Those are all included, giving you an incredible value in that cruise fare. Here's a different way to just position it so you can see if you have sailed on a different cruise line before, um, a less inclusive or a more uh, premium cruise line, uh, those things that you have not been paying for and you pay along the way, uh, those are all included and you don't have to worry about having Wi-Fi or, or getting a soft drink or your coffees uh, throughout the cruise that is all included. On top of that amazing value with the inclusions, we have our O-Life Choice promotion, which is our long-standing promotion. So if you have sales with us before, if you've received any of our marketing, you've definitely seen the O-Life Choice promotion. So not only does it include round trip airfare, uh, but you also have the choice of shore excursions, beverage package, or shipboard credits to add uh, even more value to your cruise experience. So for this sailing, it is the choice of six shore excursions, um, or $600 shipboard credit, and then the beverage package is wine and beer at lunch and dinner. So we give you the choice to customize the vacation you want. Uh, luxury and, and vacation experiences are not the same for everybody. You may want to get to enjoy wine and beer at lunch and dinner, and somebody else may want to uh, just have that, that shipboard credit to spend as they go, depending on what um, experience they want to have on board, and they just want to decide as, as they are sailing. Um, so we give you that flexibility because it is your world, your way on board Oceana Cruises. In terms of the group, that specific sailing, that March fit sailing that Thomas put together, not only do you get all the amazing value uh, through the OLA Choice promotion, through our standard inclusions, but you also get free gratuities included, which is an enormous value uh, for this cruise, as well as some shipboard credit. So, and I believe there's also an air aspect there that I will let Tom and Michael talk about because the air side is a little uh, too nuanced for me. I'm on the cruise side and I have got that handled for you, um, but even more value. I will also say on top of those great amenities, we actually just increased our cruise fares. So Tom and Michael have secured the lowest best available fare for this sailing. And so not only do you get all that, but you're actually getting savings that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise uh, because they have secured this pricing for you uh, for this opportunity. The last thing that I want to talk about, I'm sure is top of mind for everyone, health and safety. What does that look like on board Oceana? What does that look like for cruising? So it is our number one goal to, of course, protect our guests, our crew, 
all of the places we visit. So our team has worked on and continues to work with the CDC um, and all of the cruise lines as a whole to put together the most comprehensive health and safety uh, guidelines. It has been reiterated to us time and time again, not only is it going to be healthy and safe for everyone, but the cruise experience is actually going to be better than it was before. Things like checking in. It was kind of tedious before. You had to find your paper, you had to you know, have your passport out. And so those kinds of things are going to be streamlined now um, where it'll be an online check-in. So less, less that you have to dig through your bag, especially if you're flying in, things are kind of shoved into whatever pockets. Uh, so those little things are going to be streamlined now. Uh, so there has been those enhancements made. In terms of actual health and safety, your best resource is going to actually be oceanacruises.com backslash health, where it details some of these aspects. But I did want to, of course, mention things that we have um, already planned, including a 24-hour um, sanitation team on top of already cleaning that was happening. We have actually now created a new team on board uh, that is going to be disinfecting, of course, all those public areas and high traffic areas, let's say elevators, um, where they're going to be constantly wiping those down and using um, you know, the proper sanitation protocols to make sure that those are as clean as it can possibly be. Um, we will also be actually in having a public health director. So that person will be in charge of that for just the ship. Uh, this is a new position on board. So that is their whole goal is to make sure all those steps and safety protocols are being followed and executed perfectly. We've also upgraded our air filtration system. Uh, and there's a lot of science behind what that looks like. It's uh, not my expertise, but again, it is the highest um, air filtration system that we could get. We partnered with Atmos Air. Uh, so any particles that go in, it removes, I believe, 99.9999% of uh, particles in the air and, and spits out you know, only the clean, fresh air. Um, so as I mentioned, oceanacruises.com backslash help is going to be a great resource uh, if you want to get into the really the details of it all. Um, but wanted to, of course, mention that we have been working on this and we have uh, pride ourselves on what we put together and know that when there is a return to service, it is going to be the safest possible way to go forward with cruising. And I look forward to having you all on board uh, with Tom's group or even any other sailing. If that is a fit with your schedule, we would be more than happy to have you on board. Um, but I will go ahead and pass it back over to Michael and Tom. Well, thank you, Jade. That was very informative and um you know it is april fool's day and <laughs> it and and you do work for oceana and you did talk a lot about how good the food is but i just want to tell our listeners out there um in 2018 i hosted a group on oceana on the insignia which is a sister ship of this ship it was actually a world cruise segment so i was on there for 30 days and it is no joke. This is the best food at sea. I have been on virtually every cruise line. And, um, you know, the, the, like she described, I, I don't know what you call the buffet, the multi-station. Right, it's multiple food station. The multiple food station, but <laughs> it has always been that way. And even those days we weren't in the specialty dining or in the dining room where it's just like the best restaurant in town every time you go to dinner, lunch or breakfast. Um, and you see the executive chef all of the time, by the way. But even when you're there in the buffet, it is the best buffet that there is. I mean, it's just, you can't go wrong. And it's, it's delicious. It truly is the finest cuisine at sea. And the whole experience is great. I mean, we really, uh, I'm, I'm a huge Oceana fan because of it. So um, I'm going to share my screen real quickly and show you number one, um, this trip on our Bon Voyage catalog. And if you don't know our Bon Voyage catalog, it's a list of all of our upcoming trips. It will it, it will mention like here you see uh, Oceana. This is this particular group that who, if it's hosted and who it's hosted by and some brief information about it. And there's a link on here for most trips and you click that link and it will tell you even more details. Um, and you can go to see this document at any time and it's updated regularly. You can see it was updated yesterday, uh, www.tripswithme.com. And it will take you right to this document and you can look it over and click on any one of our trips. Now, uh, many people know we do have professional fees that we charge for our services, but 
all of these trips are groups and we have pre-planned all of them so they do not incur any additional fees and finally so if you were to click on uh, this link to the amber dreams cruise which is uh, what we're calling tom's cruise it will bring you to this page um, which you can also go directly to this page uh, for the amber dreams cruise by typing www.theadtrip.com and we can scroll down. Uh, this is actually a picture of the insignia that from my trip that I was just describing. Um, but that's a, it's a sister ship of, of the ship you'll be going on. This has our pricing and the itinerary here. And Jade, I would love to get from you that little animated itinerary so I could put it on our website if that's possible. Oh, definitely. I could send that your way. Okay, cool. All right, Tom. So tell us a little bit about uh, what uh, about our group and that you're hosting? Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jade. You gave us a lot of information there. Um, as uh, Jade said, you first after you sign up, you'll get the old life choices, and um, you'll pick one of those, and then we'll start off from the uh, Myrtle Beach Airport because free air comes with this trip. So we will get. From Myrtle Beach Airport, we'll fly to Miami. Miami, they will uh, transport us to the ship, and then we'll proceed on our 12-day trip and visit nine different ports in those 12 days. And if you look at the itinerary that Michael had there, um, some of the ports were in till 11 o'clock at night, which is very different from most of the big ship cruising that I've done. You're out of there by five o'clock and six o'clock the latest. So it'd be nice to see some of these places in the evening. So in addition, then we get our free round trip air from Myrtle Beach, and then there'll be a group $200 onboard credit per cabin. And, and then once we get to, if we, um, if we want to get together, once we got to see who is going, um, I'll go through and look at some of the uh, optional tours on the, uh, on the port in the ports and see if we have uh, many people that would like to go on it and maybe we can arrange some kind of a semi-private tour to do it if we get enough people interested in them but they are all very interesting islands to me uh, and that's why I picked out this tour and uh, I said like Michael said we have uh, 14 people already signed up and most of us have been on Oceana before so we are coming back it's not only the food, it is the service. The service is great. And I think I've covered just about everything there. Do we have any questions out there? We do have a couple of questions. And Tom, I wanted to also mention that, um, you know, Oceana always has free air included in the O-Life, which we have from major airports. And normally, if you have a smaller gateway like Myrtle Beach or Charleston, it's an extra $1.99 a person. And for our group, we were able to get um, 10 gateways, uh, smaller gateways included, and Myrtle Beach is one of them. So that is included. Um, but let's say if you're listening and you wouldn't, you don't want to fly out of Myrtle Beach, your gateway may be one of the included gateways already, or it might be one of the 10 that we have. So check with us. You don't have to fly from Myrtle Beach to go on this cruise and be in our group. You can fly from anywhere. Okay, so uh, let's see. The first question I have is from Joe and he wants to know, do we have a brochure? And yes, we do. And we'll get that out to you, Joe. Um, let's see, uh, Michelle asks, although the 2023 World Cruise sold out in a day, are segments still available? Specifically, the Cape Town to Thailand or Tokyo segment. Thank you. So we actually currently don't have the segments available because the full world cruise did sell out, but we have similar voyages. So I can definitely send um, a list to Michael and Tom so they can see if there are, is a similar voyage to what you're looking for. Um, but as of right now, they do not have it segmented out. Uh, Joyce is asking, do you have a certification course? We do, we do for our travel partners um, in our travel advisor center, we have a certification um, that everybody can take um, and it's pretty straightforward, pretty, 
pretty nice overview of everything that I just kind of covered as well. Um, this is a comment. Clancy says, excellent presentation. Thank you. We have enjoyed Ocean in every aspect, but one. I don't know what the one is, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, but I, everything I, else was great, so I will <laughs> take it. <laughs> Probably exactly. having to leave the ship. That was the bad thing. Right. Having ate, I ate too much food on board, or I enjoyed it too much. <laughs> it is dangerous. I mean, that food is so good. I was on a 30-day cruise. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to say I gained a lot of weight, but, you know, I'm not a skinny guy. Well, okay? I, <laughs> I will say... I'm not, I don't eat plant-based normally, um, but that is a nice way to kind of balance it out. We say we definitely have our indulgent side, um, as you can see through all the pictures, but we also have plant-based, so you don't always have to indulge. We have um, amazing healthy options. And tea, you have tea every day, and, and at tea time, yes, there's some lovely do. options out there. There is, I did not mention that, but we do have tea every day on board. The only day is um, embarkation day and disembarkation day that we don't have uh, tea, but it's it absolutely, I guess, love that experience if you had it before um, in Horizons, beautiful space um, where you get to enjoy tea and um, of course, tea time snacks as well. And there is, um, a, you know, music playing with our, our quartet there as well. So. Um, really, the onboard experience is absolutely amazing. You can't go wrong. Um, so definitely take a look at that March itinerary or any other itineraries that you're interested in. And uh, you are in very good hands with Michael and Tom. Yeah, and, and Tom is an experienced cruise host, and uh, people come back on his cruises all the time. So you know you'll have a good time when you go with Tom. Um, one thing I wanted to point out that I mentioned before uh, on the list of uh, cabins available categories where we say no allocation we can request it if you would like a uh, vista suite we can check and see if that is available and get it added into our group yeah absolutely yeah definitely. well guys um i don't see any new questions so if you think of one down the road or again if you're watching the recording please uh comment uh or just send us an email michael at mgatravel.com tom at mgatravel.com we will endeavor to get your questions answered. We hope that you'll join us um, on a fabulous cruise uh, next March and uh, to some little uh, really nice out of the way ports that you may have not visited in the Caribbean. And even if you have, um, we you will have a great time on board in that whole experience. Absolutely. Um, Jade, I have a last minute question here from Marie and it says, will mm -hmm. Oceana require proof of vaccination? Um, that is part of the health and safety protocols that I'm not quite sure on 100% finalized. Uh, what we are waiting for is, of course, once we have that return to service and 100% what that looks for. So again, just check the website and keep an eye out for that um, in terms of the specifics of vaccination records or um, masks, I know is a big question as well. So that hasn't been I'm sure it has been finalized somewhere above <laughs> above my pay grade. Um, but in terms of actual specifics on a sailing, that will come at a later date. And let me add, um, more and more cruise lines are having proof of vaccination requirements, but it doesn't mean it's forever, okay? This is just while it's important to do so. Um, and because even if they they do it doesn't change maybe a destination's rules um so you might be stopping at a destination uh, and, and we're talking about if you went on a cruise this summer we don't know really don't know um right. about next march but i would hope less and less mitigations would be necessary by that time maybe just enough people in the world have been vaccinated that you don't have to have requirements like that um and so many many um cruise lines uh, I know another cruise line that on certain sailings, they do require vaccinations and other areas where they're, they're uh, not as many people vaccinated, they just require negative tests and some have a hybrid. So um, just be an adaptable traveler and uh, be, be prepared. Um, we can't predict the future, but um, I think in the near future that vaccinations will be big for, for visiting certain countries and, and, and on cruise lines as well. 
and if you go on a on a cruise that has does require everyone to be vaccinated then i don't know that you would need to wear a mask unless you're in a really tight situation so the answer is we don't know but that's kind of what i think right and we've got another it's all very question. nuanced and, <laughs> and mixed <laughs> um can you touch upon michelle would like to know um the difference between a concierge cabin and a non-concierge cab, a balcony. They're both balconies, but the difference. Right. So the concierge level has a few added benefits um, that come with being in the concierge level. So starting at concierge level, you can actually enjoy the spa terrace um, without having to book a spa experience. So just another private space for you to enjoy uh, that not all guests have access to 24 hours. Uh, while it's open. You also get priority embarkation, a welcome bottle of champagne on board the O-Class, so a little bit bigger ship. There's actually the concierge lounge um, as well, which is just another space. Of course, there's a concierge there, so you can talk to them. Um, and there's some snacks there. And there's a few other benefits uh, that come in, but those are really kind of the big highlights um, there. And uh, there, she asked about butler service. Is that at that level or that a suite level? That's at suite level. Okay. So the uh, penthouse suite or higher? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, well, um, I don't see any other questions right at the moment, but just send them in to us. We'll definitely uh, get them answered for you. I hope you can join us. We'd love for you to cruise with us. Um, I know Tom would love for you to go with him and um, have a great time. Anyway, thanks to all of our attendees. Um, there's a lot of our existing clients in there. Thank you guys. We appreciate your business. We uh, appreciate you taking your time to be with us. Um, as always, just reach out, mgatravel.com. We can help you. And Jade, thank you so very much for taking your time and being here today of with course, us. Of course, of course. Thank you both. Thank you to everybody that has attended. Um, and I look forward to seeing those bookings come in and seeing... Uh, you get all booked for Tom's cruise or any other cruises. Yep. And, uh, and Tom, thank you. My last thing I'll say is 2022 is filling up really fast. It has a lot of pressure on it, it from cancellations and rebookings. So take advantage of this group space that we're holding. Bye, everybody. Yeah, Have a great definitely. day. See you all on board. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Have a good day.